yada euradia se ene de na ho den na dom ene ne bamba ohura eno edi acha yen e tu mfunya me aye bibiri amayen e wose ye peja ni den wose ye se ni de ni onyam na ye ye ni den kese oro fo ye bom paye o twedi amponya me yada wase ene de wa wo wa wo ye wa hwe ye so wa bo ye ho ban e wura de mo jadi ye mo afu shine techre mada bo jima asedan kuto ni ye de ma wo aye yin kuto ni ye de ma wo ye da wa se pen pen so a wo din ya be do ever living ever faithful ever gracious god we thank you for how far you brought us we thank you for the opportunity you have granted us to live and experience a new day a brand new day we pray that lord you reveal yourself to us through your word speak to us in a language that we understand Amen. Ora fo e de radia se ene fi ma ye de amaye no o se I must not fail in my duty. I must not fail in my duty. Philippians 1:18 to 23. Philippians 1:18 to 23. I must not fail in my duty. Ora fo nyame afreyen e de biblia hyeyen sa. God has called us and he has entrusted a lot of things in our hands. God has equipped us, he has entrusted us, he has anointed us to execute his mission. That is why when Jesus came in Luke chapter 4, 18, he, when he opened the scroll, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to, number one, to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captive free. To liberate those who are in chain. And also to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So Jesus categorically came out with his vision. What God has anointed him to do. Whatever you are hearing me, you and I. God has also entrusted something in our care. And he expects us to finish, to accomplish. Eti Paul and Ekan Philippians 1 18 to 23. Paul se masia miti metema Christo. Na owu eye me faswa. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Why? Because he was suffering for Christ. He dedicated, committed himself solely to the kingdom business. And therefore, he was not afraid. Whatever he was going through, the persecution the imprisonment and all the pains he went through. Paul knew that God had entrusted something into his care and that he must not fail. Not failing God alone. We must also not fail our generation. We are, we are born into a generation. We are born to serve a generation. We are born to leave an indelible mark to a generation. And that's the generation we are serving. God expect us not to fail our generation. We need to serve our generation to the latter. We need to serve our generation to the maximum. We need to maximize every potential. People of God, I would have to say, I am failing. I am not saying that. 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 Say yen famu o maye no. Yen feili no. Be bi biara wo wo. Nyami di bribi asha wansa. Na o shese ye be ye. Ne ya ye ni ye. Bible says he who has started a good work. Will bring into accomplishment. Na mi wo e yidi wan wo toso se. Ni ya wo fi nyuma pa se no. O di be kwe ye ye pa. O da fo. E ne urade si yen ka ka ye hon. On pe si ye be feili no. Nyami pe si ye be di ye bu si yan yamo. Nyami pe si ye be di ya safwa. Wa fre ye ye be di ni yamo. Let us all stay focused. Paul said, I run in such a way that I will win the race. He said, I do not run like those who beat the weight, but I stay focused. Paul said, I press on towards the mark. I press on. I came to tell you, I came to submit to you, that as you press on, as you try not to fail, certain things will impede your progress. And no more best you. And no more bequity out. Now, so you are this, just say, me know, you be a good copano. Send you be a duck, will be a little pot by your day. When Paul finished everything, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. It is my prayer 
that all of us as Christians, Christians militant, we fight the good fight of faith. We fight a worthy cause. We press on. We finish the race. It is a race. And God expects us to complete. God expects us to cross the line. Not to fail along the line. Not to retreat. He expects us to move on. God bless you and keep you. 2022, we are gradually ending the year. It is my prayer that one and a half few months to end the year, you and I will not fail the Lord. We will not fail our family. We will not fail our nation. We will not fail our parents. We will not fail whatever God has entrusted into our hands. God bless you and keep you. Father, we pray that help us to accomplish every task. Help us to finish to the end. Help us so that then on the day, we wake up, we boldly decree and declare that we have fought a good fight. We have finished the race. What is left is the crown, the imperishable crown that God you place on us. We thank you. We bless you. In the name of God, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm Reverend Foster Ampofo. Peace and life to you all. Bye-bye.